Hi, this is David Bain with the Pioneer High School Cisco Networking Academy. I wanted to record a little bit about how to create assignments so that students can upload files in the NetAcad site. I'm here logged into a class. I actually create a test class and I think that's a good policy anyway. You can create a test class so that you can play around with the tool and then get your work done. Here's my main page. I'm going to go to assignments because what we want to create is an assignment. And the NetAcad site has a lot of really great tutorials. It just missed a couple of steps or was unclear on a couple of steps that I want to cover. I have this new assignment category I made earlier called Turn In. The assignments on NetAcad really does a good job with that. And I come to that and the little plus over here to add a new one. You notice that I was playing with it earlier. So, so here we go, test for podcast. I can give it a due date. If I give it a due date, it appears on the calendar in upcoming events. If you don't give it a due date, it doesn't appear in what the students see. I'll click Done there. It is an assignment. It can be a lot of different things here. Discussion. And dis the discussion forums actually are kind of nice. Uh, you can make a new quiz. I do quizzes all the time. I use the quiz engine for study guides, for instance. And if anyone's interested, uh, in addition to the fact that I will cover this in a later podcast, I'll certainly be willing to share my actual files with you if you want to see them. An external tool would be something like Google Docs. I have never tried that, but again, hopefully in a later podcast. And then a not graded, I haven't done as well. We are going to create an assignment. And then there are more options to choose. When you select more options, you get this second page of the actual assignments page. And here you can do a lot of things. For instance, I can put my instructions. I can I can attach a file. Uh, for instance, if you want, if this were, and the way I'm going to use this is that if this were my um, the, the upload area for a lab, I'll put the PDF, a link to the PDF of the lab right here. And to do that, you simply click on Files over here on the right, and you have your course files. And because I don't have anything selected, I'm just going to pick one. Uh, I'm going to pick one randomly, and none of these are good. Uh, but I'm going to pick just this text file. It really, there, all the files work the same here. So I'm going to select a text file there to attach. And that's a live link for anything, any file that you want to have posted on the NetAcad site. You would upload it using the file link to, to the left. The important part here, though, if this is a document that you want the students to complete and fill out, and then turn in with a document or if it's just something you want you're kind of turning this into a Dropbox area the points you can determine however many points the the due date however many whatever your due date is but the real key is this in the assignment group it is well no excuse me not the assignment group it's the advanced options and your type here has to do with the submission submission type and you want it an online with an online submission, you have several choices, and if we look here, we see them. A text entry allows them to type things in, just like it sounds. It allows them to type in an entry of some sort. A website URL, perhaps they used an external blog or some sort of external site to put their information. Maybe you've got a wiki page. That would be the URL they would turn in here. Media recordings is what it sounds like. They can actually record audio and perhaps video I don't believe I don't know how canvas works I've never tried that one but it's it's a nice voice annotation and then finally the one I want to show is allow file uploads I could restrict the file types for specific extensions if I want to make sure they're doc files if I want to make sure they're XLS files if I want to make sure they're PDFs I would choose to not do that because I never know what my students are actually using maybe they've got open doc format, maybe they've got Word doc, maybe they're turning in PDFs, whatever it happens to be, but that's a choice you'll make. For labs that are prov provided for us as fill-inable PDFs, this will be a PDF, so you could restrict it by that. You might have groups that are working together, and you'll have to determine what those groups are, and I'm not going to create that. Uh, I could assign every kid a, a an individual score on their group assignment or I could assign it to the entire group together. Peer review is what it sounds like. You could have them review each other's work. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that because I'm going to copy this and use this as a template for my other files. And these properties will be the same in those other ones. When I click on Update Assignment here, and it's going to select Load, here is my assignment with a speed grader. Now, why is this important? Well, let's look at what it looks like from a student perspective. Because the student end is, is what I was really looking for when I wanted it. And so I'm going to select student view. I really like that Netiquette added this. I was a member of the beta and we didn't have that easy to use. But here I am as a student and you know I'm a student because it's at the bottom where it says you are currently in student view. I really like that too. This is an assignment. This is an assignment. And test for podcast is the assignment. And now here is the text that I put in when it's due, how many points, what it is. So I have any instructions I put. I have my file attached to it. But over here on the right is the key submit assignment. When I click on that, I get a file upload area. And I would actually have a separate tab for each of the ones that I had selected. If I had um, input text or if I had a URL, each of those would be a separate tab here at the bottom. I can now browse for a file. It really, I'm just going to pick one. This is from a class that I was taking through Fresno Pacific. Um, and then when I submit, I now have this file that's uploaded. I'm going to let it finish. We're back. And it says over here, turned in. Here's I could ask for details about my submission, but there is my document. Here's what the student turned in. Now, here's what's really nice. I'm going to leave the student view. I'm going to look at it as a teacher again because this is the part that always drove me nuts grading last year because it's I find very difficult to use here in uh, Canvas. But if I have my assignment and I'm going to go ahead and go to that assignment from my grading the way I'm going to grade it and over here on speed grader I have two options here on the right I have speed grader and I have download submissions. Download submissions does what it says it does. It'll put them all in a zip file and download them all at once, which is really awesome. But I'm going to show you another trick. If I click on speed grader, I get a new tab. And speed grader I've used before in other ways. All of your students will appear up here. I happen to only have one. And then this is really cool. Here is the PDF sitting here it automatically launches it in my screen so I don't have to worry about lo loading it separately and this is the blended learning PDF instead of a lab I also as a teacher I could put the grade here if I wanted on the right I don't use the the canvas gradebook but I do leave comments so I could leave a comment for my students saying you should always upload your files after you save them there and when I submit the comment that that comment actually gets emailed to the student him or herself and I can go down this list and look at all of my students again I only have one in this list and each of their files will appear automatically so that's how you create a an assignment that will allow students to turn in their work and then you can grade them fairly easily. Feel free to email me if you have any questions. I'm always here. Thanks. Bye.